This is the introduction to Google SketchUp 8. When you're on your desktop, go to the Google SketchUp shortcut. It looks like a house with a pencil. Click on it once and hit enter, or you can click on it twice. Wait for it to open. It will open into a window and you'll have some choices to make. Google SketchUp is a two or 3D drawing program, meaning it has height, width, and depth. If you ever gone to a movie where you wear those glasses, that is 3D because the images pop out uh, at you rather than remaining flat on the screen. The first thing you're going to do when you get to this Google SketchUp window is you're going to click on Choose Template. You're going to click one time on Simple Template, Feet and Inches. Then you're going to go down and click on this button at the bottom of the window, Start Using SketchUp. Remember, you can pause this video at any time and catch up, uh, go back, uh, reverse it a little bit, and, and watch it again. You might have to watch it three or four times before you finally get there. Uh, if this pops up for you, just click uh, Open the Opposite No. And then you don't want this little thing in here. If this is in here, you no. Know, you click on the X. Anything else that is open, you need to click on and, and get rid of because all you want is this person here. We're going to start uh, with uh, some tools and you have to follow my directions exactly. When you're done uh, with my directions, then you can be more creative, but right at the beginning, you need to follow my directions exactly. So I'm going to teach you how to get rid of this person here. You're going to click on the eraser. The eraser is the pink tool up here on the toolbar. And then your mouse turns into the eraser and then you just click on this person. Now suppose I said, oops, I didn't want that re uh, to person to go away. If you hold down the control button, it's in the lower left-hand corner of your keyboard, and then quickly press Z. Z, control Z is undo. And sometimes the clicking on the person doesn't work to get rid of them. So if you uh, brush across the person with your eraser, then that will get rid of them too. Remember, control Z will... Um, undo whatever you did. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be making a building in three dimensions, height, width, and depth. So we're going to start off with a, a square, and actually it's called the rectangle tool. I'm going to click on that rectangle tool. There's a blue line, a green line, and a red line. They all intersect. They come together right here at this point, and when I put my mouse on it, it turns yellow. You're going to click on that yellow button and just click and drag, and then you're going to make that rectangle approximately that size. Now, if you have to pause to keep up with me, just feel free to pause it, do it, and then come back. The next tool I'm going to show you is one of my favorite tools. It's called the push-pull tool. It looks like a box with an arrow pointing straight up. You click on that, and then when you come down to the gray rectangle, you touch it, the gray rectangle and you can see there's little dots that come up. That means that you have made contact with that rectangle. Then you're going to hold down on the mouse and drag straight up and it turns into a cube, or not a cube, a prism, rectangular prism, a box. You want to just drag it up a little bit because if you drag it up too far, you can't see the top of your uh, rectangle and you want to see the top of that. You have to do that for this next part. Once you have your uh, rectangular prism, then you're going to go to the straight line tool, which looks like a pencil. You click on that pencil tool right up here, and then you're going to uh, find the midpoint on the side, on the top side. If I move the mouse along this line right here on the edge of the rectangle, it will be red until I come to the midpoint. The midpoint is in the center of this line, and you want to go from midpoint to midpoint. So I'm going to click on my mouse, hold down, drag the line across, and you want to keep the line as straight as you can, and then it will end in a red line. If you goof up and don't make your line straight, your line's going to change colors. You want it to stay, in my case it's red, but it might be green on your uh, computer, I'm not for sure. And then you just let go. If you continue to click upward, then you would draw more lines, but we don't want to do that. So I'm going to um, Control-Z that, undo. 
So we have a box with a line right across the center of the top of the box. We're going to go to the next tool, which is the Move tool. When you put your Move tool, the Move tool is this red uh, tool with four arrows on it. When you put the Move tool on top of the line that you just drew, it will turn blue. When it's blue, you're going to click on it and just drag it as close to straight up as you can, and then you have your building. The next tool I'm going to show you is, and again, you might need to stop and just uh, catch up again, because uh, I move pretty fast, and I'm sure that um, you need to catch up. Over here is the orbit tool. Orbit is like it orbits the planet. Well, it sort of orbits um, the, the house. So when I uh, click over here, click on the mouse, and drag it over, the house actually moves. You can go up. You can go down. You can also access the orbit tool by clicking on your scroll button if you have a mouse. That will just uh, take you right to this, the orbit tool. I want it to orbit till the house is facing you or the building. I don't even know if it's a house. It could be any kind of building. Once it's facing you, then you're going to go back to this, the rectangle tool. That's the square, the brown square up here. You're going to make some doors and windows, and you want to do this on all four sides. I'm not going to show you four sides, but you, and when you do it, you want to do all four sides. In my head, I'm thinking, this is the living room, so I made a nice big picture window. Over here is the uh, kitchen, and it didn't need quite as much, and there's my door. So once you make your windows and doors, you want it on all four around your house, and you can make as many or as few as you want. Uh, you want to um, make the house or building look more like a building. That building would not have white walls, white doors, white windows. So what we're going to do is go to this word. It is window, W-I-N-D-O-W. -W, and then you're going to go down to three, one, two, three, to materials, materials. If you click on this little one, yours might look different than mine, but it doesn't matter. You just click on this arrow right here, and it gives you a list of things you can do. And I'm going to go to Brick and Cladding, and that's going to give me stuff that you put on the outside of a house. And I like this brick right here. So I click on it, and I click here, and it makes the house look very um, more like a real building. Then I'm going to click on that arrow again, and I'm going to go down to Wood because I want my door to be a wooden door. And I like this one here, so I'm going to go over here and make my door wood. And then uh, for a window, it would be glass. Well, there's no glass material here, but there is this down here towards the bottom. Fourth from the bottom, translucent. Translucent. Say it, translucent. And when you get to translucent, it's like glass. And I'm thinking in my head that it, uh, I've got my lights on inside the house, so I'm using the yellow one. I click here and then click here and then if you use your orbit tool you can actually see inside of the house now i still have all the other sides to do and the roof so i'm going to go back here to my materials menu and i'm going to find roofing and i like these uh, shingles right here so i'm going to put the shingles on there so your job today is to make your uh, house as as realistic looking as possible. Make sure all four sides are covered. And once you have done that, show it to me. Thank you. Enjoy your day.